Which one's better? Um, this is the panel I shot. And um, as you can see, it's all messed up. One interesting thing I'll tell you, this is the Kim Aqua on this side. This is a flat, and this is the Cerulac, which is a satin. Notice the sheens are exactly the same. So a flat in the Kim Aqua is like a satin in the Cerulac. All right. As far as chemical resistance is concerned and scratch resistance and the durability, I don't see any difference whatsoever. Um, I will tell you that the Sayer Lac, uh, it doesn't have as high of VOCs. Like it has basically almost no smell whatsoever. Um, Kim Aqua is a lot stronger. As far as they sand, now what I did was I shot these panels side by side with the identical gun. It was a Harbor Freight gun. Um, and I shot this side and then I shot this side like simultaneously because um, I wanted to see how they dried and sanded. The Kim Aqua actually um, dries faster than the Sayer Lac. Not by much, but a little bit. Um, the sand about the same. Um, one thing that I had an issue, uh, the build is pretty similar. You may get, uh, yeah, it's probably about equal on that as far as the build. Um, one issue I did have with the Sayer Lac was is I was getting like little bitty bubbles everywhere and I called Sherman Williams and I got the usual dance around but I did explain to them that this was not a project and that I was just trying the product out to see if I liked it or not um, of course they said they had no issues but I've seen this issue before with the Kim Aqua and one thing I've noticed over the years I've been shooting water base for about five five years now is some of the manufacturers have gone away from the metal cans and I've seen issues with the Centurion when they were using metal cans if it got old and so um, I've seen similar issues with the Kim Aqua with the metal cans now I buy the um, flat in a uh, plastic um, bucket and I've never had issues with that so I think that there's an issue with metal cans and water base and I did talk to um, my good friend at Annex Paint, uh, Greg Saunders, which sells the is basically one of the reps for the Centurion product, um, and he said that's the reason why that uh, CIC changed it is because they were having rust issues and all kinds of stuff with the lining of the cans. So that's something to be conscious about. Um, I'm not really going to give it a bad review because I think it's probably fine. I think I just had a bad batch, but I think my continuing frustration. Um, is with Sherwin Williams and just their lack of response to um, issues that I might have. Now, other guys in other parts of the country, you may have better luck. But for whatever reason here in Nashville, it's like banging my head against the wall dealing with them. So that's one reason why I'm really not using Sherwin Williams products anymore. I will use some. I will use their um, the Kim Aqua, but I'm probably not going to bother with the Sayer Lac. It's a little bit more expensive, not much, but my opinion is is that these finishes are just about the same. So I don't know about all the marketing marketeers that say this is better than the Kim Aqua, but from my from my testing, I, I've treated them each the same, and they both had the same issues. Um, you know, I put lacquer thinner acetone on them, um, and it all it all cut through both of them. The only one again, I say that. Um, does it that does not happen to is the CIC Centurion conversion finish. Um, oh, Sayer Lock versus Kim Aqua. I say there's no difference. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>